In this video, we're going to get started putting together a practice portrait. Um, so you're going to need to open the example image. And to do that on Graphic Designer, you're going to go to Open from Computer and then find wherever you uh, downloaded your image. It might be in Drive since you're working on your uh, Chromebooks instead of the MacBook. Um, but you're going to open up that picture of the boy there. And uh, once you do, you're going to uh, get started using the pen tool or using that path tool to outline some of the general shapes here. So now the picture uh, uploaded here for us. Um, and I'm going to, on my layers panel, start out by locking the image. That way, as I'm working with the pen tool, it's not going to um, get in the way at all. So I have that background image locked. And I'm going to just grab that pen tool. And we're going to start by outlining a few of the basic main areas in the image. So we're going to outline all the way around the face and the hair. And then we're going to outline the shirt as a separate layer. So go ahead and start using that pen tool and try to um, use as few anchor points as possible while still getting a pretty exact outline. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Um, and then as you go around and add anchor points, remember to find anchor points to add every time the direction changes on the line here. So the ear starts to kind of change direction and comes back around. So I make that next anchor point. Then I'm going to click back on my last anchor point to get rid of um, that curve so I can create the curve myself. And I'm just going to go around the ear, click back on that last anchor point. I'm going to go around the hair as well. We'll eventually go back and make this hair color instead of skin color when we get there. But I'm going to just click at the top here, go across and make a straight line. Um, all of this can be done within one anchor point, so I'm not too worried about the details of the hair up here yet. I'm just going to kind of cut those out for now. Clicking back on that last anchor point to get rid of the handle. You can probably uh, go around the whole ear with one anchor point. Clicking back or over here. And I'll come all the way around uh, the cheek. It starts to kind of change direction down here. And again, I'm just going around the hair and the skin, so I'm not doing anything with the t-shirt yet. And then I'm going to come around for the bottom of the neck. Just extend this out a little bit. And come back around. And then I'm going to close my path here. And we're going to um, start and pick a color to fill this with. So right now it's automatically filling it with white. We want to change that to just a solid uh, skin color to start with. So I'm going to hide the fill by clicking underneath where it says fills, this little eyeball. So that hides it. And now we can grab the eyedropper tool, um, which is right next to that white circle. And I'm going to hover over the face and just kind of find a medium value. So somewhere that's not a highlighter shadow on the face. So maybe somewhere on the cheek. And then that's going to fill it in. So now I have the color selected that I want. And for right now, I'm going to hide the fill. When we bring the fill back, it will keep that color there. So I'm going to keep that hidden for now so that we can see um, the rest of the different parts to add when we get there. Uh, but I'm going to move on to the shirt next. So I'm going to start outlining around the shirt. And again, using as few anchor points as possible. So I'm just clicking and pulling to the side here. And I'm going to click back on that last anchor point so I have a straight line. I'm going to keep coming around here. And I'm going to actually go just right over the face because I'm not too worried about um, the shirt covering the face because I can just change the order of the layers and move that to the background. So that won't show up at all. So I'm just going to go right across the face and then come back around, outline the shirt here. And just make straight lines around the bottom because I need to close that shape. And it's filling it with the skin color because it's going to fill it with the last used color. Um, but again, you can hide that skin color, grab the eyedropper, grab a color from the shirt. You can actually, for the shirt, even pick your own color um, if you would like. So maybe like more of a maroon. But I'm going to leave that um, as just the color of the regular shirt for now. And I'm going to use my selection tool. And I'm going to click back on the face. I'm going to bring that color back. So right now you have the face 
um, behind the shirt, but we want to switch that order layer. So I'm going to click with two fingers on the face, go to arrange, hit bring to front, and then that brings um, our face on top of the shirt there. I'm also going to get rid of the stroke on the face. So I'm clicking on my outline for the face, and then I'm going to just hide the stroke. So that way there's no border around the face. So now we have the two main areas filled in. I'm gonna go back and hide the fill of the face again. And the other big areas of outline that I want you to fill in is the hair. So I'm going to grab the pen tool again. And I'm going to outline all the way around the hair and then we'll fill that with a base color as well. Um, before I do that though, I do wanna lock my path that was uh, the face because if I don't have that face locked, it's going to get in the way when I'm working with the pen tool. So definitely make sure you go back and lock the, um, the layer that you added the face on. Uh, but I'm gonna go back and outline around the hair. And again, same thing, just using as few anchor points as possible. And here's where you can maybe zoom in a little bit to see um, some of the details with the hair. So we can maybe try to include a little bit more of the hair details now, um, just to give it a little bit more uh, realistic feel and detail as you're looking at the uh, finished piece here. So I'm gonna go around some of these. You don't necessarily have to include every single little piece of hair. I just kind of generalize um, where some of them are. So I'm just kind of outlining a few of those pieces, maybe even making a little bit of it up, making it just a little bit thicker there. Then I'm gonna outline around the hair here. And it kind of curves up a little bit. In here, it's a little bit hard to see where the edge of the hairline is. Um, so again, you can just kind of go right down the middle or kind of guess um, for the most part where that would be found. I'm just gonna kind of cut through the middle there. Outline around the hair. And here, same thing, I'm not gonna add this part of the hair yet. Um, with this detail, we can go back with highlights later and add those tiny little areas of flyaways. So I'm just outlining the general area of the hair. And then when I'm done, I'm going to hide that white fill that it auto fills with, grab the eyedropper, and I'm going to try to find a medium value because we're going to eventually be going back with highlights and shadows in, into this. Um, so I'm going to find an area where it's maybe a medium, medium value, not a highlight, not a shadow. So something like that's good. And then I can go back and grab my selection tool, click back on the face. Actually, let's unlock the face first. So again, this layer here was uh, the face layer. And I'm going to click on that layer, unhide it, so that I have uh, the fill there. So now I have just the basic outlines of the general larger shapes. So I want you to go ahead and uh, do that. When you are finished, you can move on to the next video, which is going to walk through adding um, some of the medium details. So details such as the eyes, the nose, um, some of the facial features onto the picture. Uh, but make sure that you do have this saved um, so that it's just a file in um, the Gravit Designer here instead of saving as a JPEG because you are going to go back and add more details to it. So just do file save and save it somewhere so you can come back and add more details when you watch the video and move on to the next step there.